Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite Explosive. Well, Jonas, you're the man on the I sticks. I have a stick in my hand. And we're playing Madden 20, the Houston Oil Daddies. Mm. Lather up your fraternal unit. Your... Wow. What? Wow, dude. As always, we're playing offense only with Sim and that D. Isn't Balance right? playbook. <laughs> All Madden arcade mode. Isn't We're going right? for the undefeated season right here. It's fraternal, right? Paternal. Pa paternal is your Parents. mother. No. You're talking about daddies. Maternal? Hello, everybody. I don't know, dude. I don't fraternal. know. I don't, I don't speak about fatherly things and motherly things very often. Yeah, I think it's fraternal. I think that's right. That's cool. We'll call it that because it's all about truth, not facts anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Look it up. Tell me I'm wrong. We're going for undefeated. Uh, we are going to achieve it, man. It's the Ravens, the ex-Browns. Who oh, cares? Oh, dude. But yeah, they want a Super Bowl for him. <laughs> oh, I just hit him like a truck. You see his knees collapse? Yeah, after they left Cleveland. It's not impressive if you, you win a, a, a championship outside of Cleveland. Try winning one in Cleveland. Yeah. That's hard mode. Yeah, dude. It That's really is. Ramping, it's really up hard the, mode. ramping up the difficulty. Yeah, dude. Last time we talked about my life. <laughs> I know. There what do you got? Of... What do you got for me, dude? Make it lighter. <laughs> Last time we talked about your life, it was like it was, we had it was Jonas. Deep, this dude. is your life. Okay. Yeah, dude. That Let's... was a couple days ago. I think we, yeah, something like that. But yeah, right. what we got? I don't know. Let's do my life. All right, go. All right. Tell sweet. me something. I came to you and was like, "How do you feel about skydiving?" I have this epiphany. So, like, you got what do you got? What do I got? Yeah, I have... give me a code word so I can put a title. <laughs> <laughs> What do I got? Okay, let's see. Uh, boom, John, quit my job. Boom, that was step number one. You already talked about that. I know, but I didn't tell why. Why I quit my job is because it wasn't making me happy. Figured, why am I keep doing something that's not making me happy? I should do something that makes me happy. Right. So, boom, gonna do that. Gonna get happy, and then when I'm happy, the world's my oyster. Dude, the world is your oyster. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I would, I think I would like to go night shift. It's gonna make it hard for us to uh, record. We've discussed that. Yeah, but I mean, like, by all means, be yeah. happy. Yeah, one hundred percent. You've never worked night shift. I have not. I'm I not gonna do that. <laughs> so we can take that off the table. Do they offer night shift at your job? They absolutely don't. I'm, I like, I deal with everything in real time, so there'll be uh, no one to hey, deal with. Isn't there night calls? It's not calls. Isn't I'm like a point of contact. Isn't so like when they're like at places of business that are open, they reach out to me for things. So like if uh, none of the businesses are open, they can't do their job. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, so they would just be all standing around the dark and I would. <laughs> you don't want to stand in the dark with Dude, me? Dude, I would do that job with no one talking to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. It just would not happen. They're paying me for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I miss being up all night, so we're gonna get yeah, out of shot. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm up late anyway, but dude, we would make it work. Yeah, because yeah. we 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 usually record. I mean, it's behind the scenes, folks. We usually record like in two, blocks, two days a week in a block. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's like blocks. as long as we can find that chunk of time, whenever it is. Yeah. I mean, we can make it work. It, yeah. Would it be more difficult? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It depends, like, when you're sleeping, if you sleep right before you go to work, or if you sleep early and then get up. I mean, just, yeah, I mean, a lot of it depends on all well, those factors. But. I kind of know how I usually operate, but I guess it depends. I definitely don't want to do second shift because I detest that, too. Have, that would make it impossible. Have you ever worked an off shift at all? I used to, when I worked at Blockbuster Video, oh, I used to work, like, 4 to 1 a.m. or 5 to 1 a.m. Yeah. Have definitely worked second shift. We already did this episode. <laughs> We're just reiterating stuff now. I just realized we did this episode. Yeah, we right? did. I mean, we we have like fifteen hundred videos. Eventually, we're gonna talk I about. I know, the same dude. Thing. It's hard sometimes. We have definitely gone over. Yeah, the well, same we're thing. gonna talk about your life. So, like, all right. So, uh, born in Cleveland. Boom. Uh, I remember going to the same daycare that as LeBron James. No, that my mother worked at. Which is oh, wow. very weird. Like, she was very protective of me at an early Did age. Did Jonu just fumble? What else is new, man? Jonu doesn't fumble. You've been fumbling, and you're basically the same person. Me and Jonu? Yeah. What just happened? Uh, I remember listening to music time and, and taking naps in daycare. Wow. 
of went to Catholic school. Oh man! For you're like I just said I had an epiphany. You're like literally going over here. And Joe, down. we did. Well, you had your turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, however you want to do it. Uh, with that, <laughs> You, uh, you can whatever, dude. You're talking about nap time and stuff. With I'm the, oh, let's go. I went to Catholic school until the third grade. I remember going to Catholic school. I got into some fights in Catholic school too. Over Jesus? Yeah. They were like Jesus Over is. A, Jesus. You're like Jesus is a X Y Z. You're like Jesus is not that. <laughs> He's Z Y X, motherfucker. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that uh, bomb. Like I, <laughs> got a whole video. Talk about Jesus and then mother effer. I said fudger. Oh, okay. You're talking did about you a fudge hear, factor. Did I you not it. hear me? I thought you said other No, things. Jonas. Come I on. I thought you were talking about fudge. I'm good at not swearing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I went to Catholic school. Uh, never got into it with the nuns. Remember taking communion and stuff, which was kind of odd. Is that where you eat crackers? That's when, like, you, as a small child, you go up to the, the priest, and he lays, like, a wafer in your hand, and you eat it. And you drink wine. Like they give children wine? Yeah. So Wait, I, think I, I think I got confirmed. It's usually just grape juice. Oh, you don't, okay. you don't know about the body of Christ, Jonas? Oh, yeah, dude. They eat like the dry cookie and the wine. I got you. Yeah, it's communion. What does that do? Uh, It is you building a bond with Jesus. By eating a cracker? By recognizing him and taking him into your body through a physical Wait a second. means. So if I started a new religion <laughs> and I was like, my 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 person is this and we're going to eat them and drink them. Uh, I believe a lot of religions have done that. But don't they find... Oh, Xbox Live wants to tell me something. That's cool. You're like, ha off. Yeah, a lot of religions do that, Jonas. Oh, but I, I, okay. I don't, I'm not a religion. You've never been to a Catholic church then? I've never, I've barely been to any churches. <laughs> I've been to more funerals in churches than I've actually been to really? churches. Really? I've been to Catholic church. I've been to Jewish synagogue. I've been to Jehovah's Witness temple. Ooh, ping pong to the end zone. Of course, I've been to Baptist and I've been to standard <laughs> Christian, white, black, uh, in, in between. I used to love okay. just going to random churches right. just to see what you they believe. You know what? Me, as an unreligious man, yeah. how would you feel about us doing the church tour? A church hop? Me and you will start on Sundays, and we'll start going to like different churches, and then we'll talk about them. Like that's... <laughs> what? And we'll discuss our thoughts and feelings. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be blasphemous, I swear. I dude. don't I'll think you would be blasphemous, but I don't want to... Uh... What if we did it without talking about it? Like, just so you could, like, show me the different types. Of I wouldn't want to do it, like, every week. There'd have to be, like... Over a year, we hit 12. <laughs> One Sunday a month. You, One Sunday a month, you know, You know how I feel about structure. And no, I, I would, I I would know, do I'm it. I'm surprised you do all these YouTube videos. I would, like do it a, thing I, do. I would do it on a whim. I really enjoy the YouTube. I would do it on a whim. Like, if I, I've been trying to get into uh, a, a Muslim... One. Oh, they they don't like they're exactly. not as open as like other religions. Are. Exactly. Well, especially with all like the hate in the world, they probably think that we try to be yeah. with something wrong. There was this one job. And he was Muslim, and he went to those places or uh, what do you call it, uh, mosque. He yeah, went mosque, to a mosque, yeah, yeah. and uh, I had talked to him a bunch of times. But whenever we would see each other, we would honestly just talk ish to each other. We'd just. <laughs> Just like bad mouth each other completely. Wow. Like, you walk up, he's like, you SOB, <laughs> stinky ass person. <laughs> You're like, jerk. No, it was way worse than that. Well, yeah, I can't say that. It was though. way worse than that. <laughs> well, I can't say way worse things on the, on, on the video. But we, oh, my God. I can't even go into it. But it was so bad. All right, I'll go into it a little bit. So he he was an African guy, and like like from Africa. Yeah, like right? from Africa, and he would make fun of me for being black, and I would make fun of him for being African. And so it was like borderline racist. It was a hundred percent, but it was like playful wait a minute. racism. Yeah, it was playful racism. Oh, no, that's he was like playful. There we go. That's exactly how it's okay. It folks. was playful. <laughs> It's playful no. racism. You have nothing no. to worry about. No, it's like a it's like a, a Japanese person making fun of a Chinese person, right? They they have a similar yeah, I got yeah. you. Or like yeah, or like or Puerto like an, the Mexicans or like it's like you're in no Korea. wait a minute, it's a little different, bro. Chinese and Korean but, are totally different. But so, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It is kind of like um, but it, they, you're like, both Hispanic. But you're a different type of Hispanic, yeah. so, so <laughs> yeah. right, like okay. you're right. Yeah. So it's like you're both Asian, but you're a different type of Asian. And it's funny because like it, people from Africa are like just known for like 
ishing down <laughs> American black people's throats, man. Are they? <laughs> they really is are. Is that like a stereotype of like? It is. Is that man. why the Nigerian princes reach out to us so they can really like? Be <laughs> I bad? don't. I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't say that for all of them because I've met some really cool ones over the years. Uh, boom. Worked in a <laughs> elderly facility. Met a guy. His name was Sunday. Oh, awesome. And he was cool, man. Um, he told me a lot about African cuisine and about African culture. Um, a lot of it I don't remember. Yeah. But uh, he told me that a man turned into a bird and uh, something about lightning striking oh, okay. him. And I was like, oh, and then he turned back into a man. What about this uh, mosque, though? You were telling the story. Oh, was I? Yeah, okay. You, uh, yeah, you but just he, start, you got the, the, <laughs> the playful racism got you on a tangent. You're not even wrong. All right, so boom. Tried to <laughs> ask him if I could go to mosque. He said, F U U N word. I was like, that's not nice. And then, <laughs> boom. <laughs> oh, my God. What? You aren't joking. <laughs> I'm not. You're like, can I go to church with you? He's like, F U racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> He did say that too. Wow! It's not like I'm not gonna do the voice. I'm not gonna do the voice. I got you. Anyways, I'm gonna do said, the voice. He said no. Yeah, he said no. F U N word. And then I was like, oh, that sucks. That's not nice. And then I was like, I really want to go. I'd be respectful. He was like, no, I'm not taking you. And I was like, okay. And that's the end of that. Oh, <laughs> like it wasn't even like that. Wasn't the playful? He's like, no, I'm not taking. It wasn't yeah. even playful. No, I'm not. He was like, you. no. And then he told me he would shoot me if I came there. I don't know if he was playing there. I feel like he I feel was. Like he, I don't know. <laughs> Threats of murder are are they ever playful? Really? I, I told you, man. It got it got kind of raw. Like honestly, that was that was low key first bet as we got. Yeah, other. I bet. Oh man. <laughs> but Wait me and him were white guys hanging out talking to each other. I don't know. Do you got make fun of like call each other honkies all the time? <laughs> <or something>? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> We're so ingrained in saying any sort of slur of any nationality that we just don't even like make fun of ourselves. No, you guys, no. I have never in a million years or all of my years on this earth went up to another white boy and been like, So punky? Never. I mean, but you, like, okay, um, mm, I'm looking at how to approach this. I'm a different, but I'm also from what you, like, mm. I'm not the normal person, so I can't speak for everyone. But, like, hmm. Caucasian Americans. <laughs> I love that. Caucasian Americans. Ca Caucasian Americans have been known to say things as such as, "I'm so the color that is." Oh, like I'm so white. Yeah, yeah I guess <clears throat> maybe. I don't. I don't think like to like to different stimuli. Like whether know. it be like dancing or Va the sun or. Ah. What? Oh, I guess, like, I have made fun of myself for being really white because I'm not tan. Like, I mean, I guess that's a, a, a white I mean, yeah, thing. but that, you guys don't, like, call each other out, I guess. That's, I mean, that's fine. Oh, I've been called out by white people about how white I am. Absolutely. Oh, see? Yeah, like, they're like, see? They're like, bro, I thought I was white. Look <laughs> at you. And I was like, <laughs> like. So I guess it's kind of the same thing. Okay, yeah. There's different shades of white. There's different shades yeah. of black. There's different shades of like. <laughs> there you go. That's what I was trying to get okay, to. The meat it. Yeah, somebody has been like, look at your legs. I thought I was white. <laughs> I was like, I don't get out in the sun very much. Thank you. I have a, I have a, a, a pigment issue. A pigment issue. But uh, so me and that guy. Uh, even though he wouldn't let me go to the mosque. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was actually super cool. Whenever I would see him in public or something, it was always like I'd give him a hug. Right, right, right. Like right. we were we were really tight, man. I he, feel you, yeah. He it was, was sad. It was, it was definitely a playful racism. We joke about <coughs> playful, but I mean, it was like a playful. Yeah. That was your banter. Even yeah. though it was inappropriate, it, oh, it's a, yeah. if other people would have heard it, they would have thought there was about to be a, something going on. But <laughs> We would sit there and yell at each other for like five, ten minutes sometimes. <laughs> Everyone was scared. They thought you guys were about to like fight. No, man, because I, I've learned about myself, Jonas. That I, I have a hard time passing up a chance to troll. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know this. I, I don't like, know I've why. like been with you and been like, this dude is just straight trolling these people I for no reason. I hate it about myself at times, man. I do, but I do love trolling well, I think so it's, hard. It's trolling, and, but it's also like playing devil's advocate a little bit. What do you do? Because it's like, because you'll just like, you'll see how far you can take it. And it's not that it's necessarily untrue, but if someone like thinks you may be like a little tentative about something, you'll play it like 
you may be a tentative like a one, but you'll play it like you're tentative to a ten, mm -hmm. just to draw out reactions and responses. He sees the matrix. He does. Yeah, I do. Absolutely, dude. I get it, dude. I, I'm. I can't say that I. It's not the best for making friends, but it's so <laughs> that guy. Oh, oh my dude. god. Yeah, it was interesting. I'll tell you what. Yeah, so I have a hard time not trolling, so I, I do it a lot, man. Improv is a is a great place for it, man. Oh that, yeah. It dude. is a great outlet for me to get that out of my system. Yeah, because like it's almost encouraged the F your yeah. buddy. Yeah. Cause that ish does not fly at my job, man. <laughs> I do I do get like time. At work to like just like mess with people or just say something dumb or inappropriate. I do like that, but for the most part, mm. you work in a serious field, though. I just don't get my humor out here. <laughs> just well, you also work in a serious field, dude. Uh, if you're stocking shelves at Home Depot. Right? It'd be a different sort of environment, dude. Maybe I should try doing that. Yes, if you want to talk about working for no money. Yeah, why don't you go wow, do that? Wow, Jonas. You just talked in the last video about, like, making minimum wage. That's what they make at Home Depot. You know, it's crazy how, like, I feel like there's definitely a degree of inflation out here when it comes to pricing of, like, everyday stuff. Yeah, but some stuff isn't quite as expensive. Like, some stuff isn't quite what, expensive. What don't they tax in Texas? Food. They don't. No, tax they tax food. They don't tax, um, no, there's no state income tax. No. Ooh. So that's, a, that's like a 10%. Pay raise. Yeah. The, everything is taxed, like every purchase. But you don't yeah. have state income tax. No, that's actually kind of no. Uh, it saves you ten percent on basically ten percent on your income. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Yeah, because then when you only pay what like seven on income on income ta or on sales tax. Yeah, yeah. So you're saving. And that's pretty low too, because I think it was it's like mm -hmm. eight or something, eight or nine in Florida. Yeah. But in Florida, I think no, Pennsylvania is closed. Florida, I believe, is no state income yeah. tax as well. Ohio is food. Ohio is food. If you're not eating in, if you're not dining in, yeah. if you, to go food or grocery store or whatever. Which is, you know, come on, Ohio. Yeah, right. <laughs> get it together. Yeah, right? I mean, you got to buy food, so I get it, but still, it's weird. Mm. It's, I still, dude, you know what I have a hard time doing here on the video? It's like, you order a pizza here, right? Mm. It's ten ninety nine. By the time you have the delivery fee, the charge, and tax, that pizza's like 20 effing dollars, and I'm like... In Ohio, it was like ten ninety nine. It comes, it's ten ninety nine. He tipped the guy, and that was it. Like I was like, oh my! They add like eight bucks to bring the pizza to the house via tax and everything. I'm like, I don't like it. That's it. Like it. All right, I'm all right. sorry. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. I'm sorry, Jonas. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you've already done that, share it with a buddy. We want your buddies to be our buddies as mm -hmm. long as they're real friends. Yeah, real friends only. Yeah, but for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out.